Bought a new radiator for it, too. What does it have to do with it? Well, how come 25 years of, of living and loving and having kids doesn't count for anything as much as that car did? How come it doesn't count for anything, Buzz? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I think I have a solution. Donna, have you had the chicken box? Uh, yes. Well, what does that have to do with breakfast? Well, little Peter's upstairs with a case of them. But as long as you've had them, that won't matter. Now, uh, we've had our breakfast, mm -hmm. but I can't believe the staff can't come up with something edible for you. Now, why don't I give you to your mother and you two can uh, plan no, this? No, wait, please. Um, I'm, I'm just not ready to see my mom again yet, you know. But I, I very much want to see you. You know, we didn't get much chance to talk, and I've missed you a lot. You know that. Well, it's good of you to say that. Well, I mean it, really. So I'll be at the Springfield Inn in an hour, okay? Well, yes, okay, all right. See you then. Bye. Bye. Well, what is it, Daddy? Is she coming over? Uh, no, she wants to see me alone, and she prefers that we do it at the Springfield Inn. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm sure she has a very good reason, Dolly, and I'll tell her how disappointed you are. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't feel you have to do that. But I want to do it. I'm sure she'll be calling you before the morning's done. Oh, dear. All right, well, I have to stay here. I'm, I'm going to be working on the Sanders account. Oh, that reminds me. I have to stop by Spalding before I meet Donna. All right. Goodbye. Bye, darling. Why is she doing this? She's been here a whole week, and she hasn't called me once. And the only time she tried to make any contact was when she came straight here from the airport. Why? I wouldn't worry about it. Wouldn't worry about it? What are you talking about? She's my daughter. I just think you ought to take it easy. T What's wrong with you? Why should I take it easy? And who are you to tell me what I should be calm about? Uh, relax. We're both running on fumes here. We've been up all night with Peter. Well, this, this is not Peter. Peter's Peter. This is my daughter. And you're telling me I shouldn't worry about her? No, I'm just telling you that everything's going to work out. In the meantime, I don't think Dinah's worth fighting about. What a horrible thing to say. Why would you say something like that? Can we talk about this calmly and rationally? Like the adults we think we are? Mm-hmm. I understand the motive behind the money. I, I, I don't think we can afford it, but I don't think it's going to sink the ship either. That's good to hear. Mm. And the second-hand cigarette sm smoke, which is seeping into every single inch of this house and which smells worse than camel dung, will eventually go away, I hope. I can even forgive Dinah for denting the fender of my new car. I will overlook the late hours and the sloppiness and the, the dirty clothes all over the floor. I'll overlook everything, Ross, if you will please just acknowledge that your dear daughter is a little bit less than perfect. She dented the fender? Glory be, the man hurt me. Oh, no, come on, honey. I know that this has not been easy for you, all right? And I appreciate you putting up with Dinah, I do. Well, she's your daughter. Well, she's not going to be here that much longer. I mean, school in France has to start up again in, what, a week at the most? Mm. But in the meantime, she is here, and I'm with her, and we're sharing things together. And in a small way, perhaps making up for those years that are forever lost. And if we can do that, all the, the irritation, the money, the, the displacement and everything, it's going to be worthwhile. It's just that my heart tells me I need a chance to do this. And I'll even throw in a fender repair. You will. Mm -hmm. Will you ask Danya to pick up after herself, please? <laughs> oh. Can we make up? Oh, yes. Okay. Mm. Let's make up right now. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, no, I'll get rid of whoever it is. Ross Marler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Buzz. You want me to do what? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be right over. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Delay game due to divorce section over there. No. Oh, honey, you know as well as I do. A little sweet anticipation makes the making up game a lot better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Back to work again. Mm. 
Well, you don't mind if I borrow it today, do you? Chicago was cold. Did it drop 20 degrees north of the Wisconsin Dale? Or did the car heater give out? It was the car. I'm sorry about that. I'll make up for the expense when we get home. Look, Bridget, forget about the expense. The important thing is that we're here now. We can see Dylan and we can find out if he's okay. Hello, folks. Uh, it's cold enough out there for you? Oh. Yes, thank you. <laughs> well, what can I get you? Um, hot coffee. Actually, hot anything. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, they got a pair of warm socks, size 12. I got just the thing for you. We use them for ice fishing up here. Sounds perfect. <laughs> They're in the back. I'll get them. Thanks. Oh, say, do you know what time visiting hours start at the eye clinic across the street? Oh, uh, it should start in about five minutes. Yeah, uh, help yourself to coffee while you wait. Ah, right there. Thank you very much. I don't know about this. Look, you wanted to see if Dylan's okay. This is the way to yeah, do it. Yeah, but what if he doesn't want to see us? Well, why don't I give him a call? Let him know we're in Duluth and see what happens. And then what if he tells us to turn around and go home? Well, he's not going to do that, Bridget. I mean, not after we came all this way. Yeah, you're probably right. But look, you know, he hasn't returned any of my letters. He hasn't, he hasn't answered any of my phone calls. I mean, it's... Let's just go home, okay? To Come what, on. Bridget? More worrying? More sleepless nights for you? Come on, Dylan's my best friend. He's the man you fell in love with. Now, he's not going to refuse us. Not after we came all this way. Yeah. Where's the phone? I... No, don't. Look. No, David, I have to do this on my own. Okay, but remember, you're not the only one that loves him and wants to see him. Okay, so I'll go over. If he doesn't, like, explode or something, then I'll come back and get you, okay? Are you sure you want to do this alone? Yeah, I have to. And if I stand here talking about it all day, I'm just going to lose my nerve, okay? Right. So I'm going to go right now. Today's the day I find out if Dylan and I are over or not. Dinah isn't worth fighting about. What are you talking about? Has it ever occurred to you that Dinah doesn't give a damn about anybody but herself? No. No, it hasn't. And why would you say such a thing? I don't know. I just, I just don't think you should get upset about this. Well, that's great. I can't help being upset. You think Dinah's upset? I don't know. I haven't been able to talk to her. Don't you see what she's doing, Vanessa? She's playing this guilt game with you. She enjoys this. You are a good mother. You love your children, and they love you. The only love that I see in Dinah is for Dinah. Matt, I don't understand. Why are you... Why are you being this way? Why are you being so hard on her? Because... I don't like what she's doing to you, that's why. I'm gonna check on Peter.